Here we are in Kirkwall in the Orkney Islands. Kirkwall's a town that was founded by Vikings and the cathedral behind me is dedicated to St Magnus. It's possibly the greatest monument resulting from a Norse assembly meeting to be found in Scandinavia. In Norse times, inheritance customs were different to how they are in Britain today. Now the first male child inherits a title. Back in the Viking period, male descendants had equal entitlement. So the saga relates that in the second quarter of the 12th century, two rival cousins, both grandsons of Earl Thorfinn the Mighty, were vying for the earldom of Orkney. One, Earl Ronald Cali Colson, held a bit of a trump card in that he was the nephew of saintly Earl Magnus, whose cult was rapidly growing, centred on his relics. Ronald promised that if he became Earl, he would build a magnificent stone minster in Magnus's memory. However, the problem was that Earl Paul was in the ascendant, having more followers. All this changed in the spring of 1137, when Earl Paul was ambushed and kidnapped from the shores of Rousey by the notorious pirate Svenas Lieperson. Paul was bundled away to Scotland, and to all intents and purposes, he had disappeared. Earl Ronald was left free to try to gain favour with Paul's erstwhile supporters, which he did through holding regular assemblies where he bargained with many. But he was hampered by no one being sure of whether or not Earl Paul might return. So it was here, later in that same year, that Ronald held a thing. The story goes that the gathering saw nine armed men approaching from Scapa. One of these was Svenas Lieferson, the kidnapper. He took the bishop aside to tell him what had happened to Earl Paul and the facts were relayed to the meeting. Paul was either dead or so maimed that it was impossible that he would return. It followed that Ronald was accepted as Earl. Uh, Ronald's promised building program was started immediately but ran out of money after two or three years. Ronald held another assembly to raise money. It was agreed that rather than pay more annual fees, the farmers could buy the freehold rights to their land for a one-off payment of one mark per plough land. Ronald now had the funds to create this, his promised magnificent stone minster. He moved the relics into place and the bones of St Magnus remain in the cathedral to this day.